Good morning. Uh, so it is two days since the last uh, vlogs that you saw. I'm really tired. <laughs> Got a bit of bags under my eyes. I would like you guys to give me some ideas as to what you would like to see on the channel. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day uh, and I was telling her that I was thinking of quitting YouTube. <sighs> Hard one, that one. I did. I was thinking of quitting YouTube because I feel like it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I don't have much time to myself uh, lately because if I'm not working or sleeping, I'm recording and that's it. Uh, I hardly ever have time. Uh, even to see friends and things is a little bit of a challenge now because I'm just so busy. But me being me, uh, I kind of convinced myself that I will not crack under the pressure. I will not. I like the challenge of constantly being busy. I like being busy, but at the same time, I I value my relaxing time and I value being, you know, alone and relaxing. So one of the reasons why I am not really seeing my friends much lately, but life you find another dice when you're working when you when you're grown and stuff and you got things to do that's pretty much it but yeah uh <clears throat> i'm gonna relax a little bit <sighs> try and get my body uh into the swing of things for the day uh catch up on some news series and i'll touch base with you guys a little bit later because that's what i do okay okay so i just made breakfast i think it's about half past ten and I want to show you what I made. <laughs> so this is basically one slice of that cheese, like lime cheese, some bacon, eggs, and this is this uh, a quinoa salad that I discovered online, which has like raisins, um, red pepper, and uh, wow, carrots, a little bit of maple syrup. It is amazing. I made it yesterday, it is so delicious. And I made a ton of it so I can eat it at night with a protein or something. It's delicious. And then I put that on top of, I think it's about two tablespoons of that on top of just a small bit of baby spinach. And that's pretty much my breakfast with some coffee because I feel like having coffee. Hey, everybody. So I'm starting a new vlog, which is during the week. I just came back from a gym. I am extremely tired. <laughs> I took a week off gym because sometimes you need to take a little bit of a week off gym uh, just, just to recuperate your body, um, especially if you go every week like me, like three, four times a week. Sometimes you just need to, every couple of months, you need to take a week off. And last week was my week off, so I've been back at gym for the past three days and... <laughs> I'm exhausted, but I kind of felt like I want to share with you a midweek 
grocery haul uh the reason why is because i was running out of some uh some of the things that i normally buy during the week i'm talking about things like fruits and snacks for when i'm at work and whatever so i thought i should share those with you i normally pick them up at woolworths um if if you budget if Uma. <laughs> But if I vomit, me, I'll, I'll pick them up somewhere else. But normally I pick them up from Woolworths and I kind of thought I should share with you what I got this week for um, from the gym. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Can you see me? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can you see me? Here we go, here we go. Okay. Um, so the first thing out are a bunch of grapes. I love grapes. Grapes are very sweet if you're somebody who is... Uh, trying to lose weight grapes are not the best fruit that you can have because they are sweet grapes bananas if you're trying to lose weight um, 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 pineapples mangoes the really sweet um, fruits are not advisable especially if you're trying to lose weight they're not and then next out are some nuts and some um, bars snack bars uh, the one that I love the most, I really, really like this one. This is the almond bar from Woolies. And then this one is the pistachio and fig one. And then I've got some nuts. Cashews are my favorite nuts. I do not like almonds. Okay, I've, I've got another one of these bars. I do not like almonds. Um, the nut, nut itself, I'd rather, pr I prefer them as flaked or if they're crushed or whatever. I don't like them because I feel like they're too tough, they're too hard for my teeth, so I don't quite like them. And then I also picked up some juices. You guys know I love these juices. I've spoken about these juices multiple times on the uh, channel, so I needn't explain that. My favorite one is uh, normally the green one or the beetroot one. I really, really, really enjoy them. And the beetroot one just sort of regulates me, if you know what I mean. And then I've been really enjoying uh, the cherries. I've been loving cherries lately. I've, I've established that I'm really not a fan of blueberries. I, I eat them from time to time, but I just don't buy them as much because I feel like they've got a, like a tangy taste that sort of gets you at the back of your it gets a little bit too much but cherries are absolutely delicious so i picked up two of those uh i snack on these during the day I'm sure you must have picked that up in one of my vlogs uh, recently and then i also picked up these these are just so convenient these are the full cream plain yogurt uh four pack um i normally just take one for work each and every single day i might not eat it every day but i i have them there so that i can take them for work um, then I picked up a normal green salad, Greek salad. I picked this up for tonight actually because I don't feel like cooking. Okay, I don't feel like cooking and typically when I don't feel like cooking, as long as I've got meat in the fridge, I'll just warm it up like pre-cooked meat. I'll just warm it up and have it with a salad, which is what I'm going to do. To show you how sad my fridge looks, the only compartments that are always packed up to the brim are these two because they've got vegetables in them. So lots and lots of vegetables, lots and lots of vegetables. Okay, this is what I'm going to have later. Actually, it shouldn't be. Yeah, so there's some peppers in there, cucumber, uh, carrots, what have you. Because I mostly eat vegetables during the day. I mean, during the week. Uh, got some tomatoes in there. Plum tomatoes for my salads. Here they are. Got the plum tomatoes for my salads. Got an avocado just roaming around in there. Yeah, vegetables. And then in here, sad looking drawer there. And then in here, sad looking drawer there. I had some of these over the weekend. Didn't quite finish them, didn't really like them. And then this is one that is always stocked up because this one is my fruits. I enjoy fruits. They just pretty much put everything in there. The small yogurts are for work and the big one is for when I'm at home. And then up here, we've got uh, an overnight oats <laughs> that I need to eat. And of course, garlic, because I cook with garlic all the time. Eggs. And a couple of, um, what's this, herbs. This is parsley. I think I've got mint and something else back there. And then condiments at the top. I just literally throw everything at the top and some cheese. My favorite cheese is this one here. This is my favorite cheese. This is the Brie President Brie cheese. Uh, I've got two of those because um, Brie cheese is my favorite. It really is. And then I'm South African. Acha is a real thing. Acha, it's a real okay, thing. Okay, so I just took a shower. I am ready for bed. It is literally maybe half a seven. 
<laughs> but I'm really tired. My body hurts, of course, because of gym. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm ready to just turn in. I might not sleep now at half past seven. I might read a book or something, but for the most part, I'm ready to turn in. Uh, but before I do, I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up um, today. So just a little bit of context wise, um, bah, 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 bah. I hadn't bought any gym gear ever since I started working out and going to the gym. I had uh, leggings uh, from long ago, like when I was still a guinea, as I say, as I always say, when I was still a guinea, I, um, I had leggings, but now the thing is I would wear these leggings to gym, but it was pretty obvious that they were big because I would have to keep pulling them up. Every time I do squats, I would have to pull them up. Every time I do lunges, I would have to pull them up, you know, burpees, blah, blah, anything. And it really got to a point where it was annoying. You know, even when, when your gym instructor starts to tell you that, girl, it's maybe time you invest in some new gym gear, okay? So for me, I just picked up some tights um, and I picked up black tights because, need we ask? um i just don't like bright colors like I, I i see a lot of women wearing bright colors at the gym i'm like oh that's nice that's nice i just don't see bright colors on me i feel more confident in black i feel more uh t honestly sexier in black um and my tops i'm not a fan of the you know sleeveless types i i have some sort of insecurity with my arms so i don't typically like to wear sleeveless tops and whatever and i've got a lot of tops so um i didn't feel the need to buy tops as yet so i only picked up um sort of like a sports bra a bra that's uh proper for gym uh i picked up two of those and i picked up two leggings and i picked up some other things so i'm pretty much going to show you what I picked up um, so I just yeah. pretty much put everything on the bed I'll show you everything that I picked up um, uh, the leggings I picked up two of these these are the what do they call these leggings the body core tight leggings these are my favorite ones I had a pair of two I picked up the long ones because I don't like tricota leggings for some odd reason I feel like I look weird in them so I picked up the long ones two of those in black the other one is already in my gym bag which is over there <laughs> uh yeah the other one is already in my gym bag so I picked up two of these in black really love them uh the previous sizes that I had was extra large but now I am um I picked up medium medium is very nice it's comfortable it's tight it holds my body quite well so i'm i'm happy with that and then i picked up these really really cute um sports bras as you can see one is navy blue and one is um uh, black i'm tired of wearing uh, the, the 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 like the wire bras the proper daily bras that you know to the gym it's very very uncomfortable so uh, when you're jumping up and down, okay, it's not a real thing. So I picked these two up in large because your girl's kind of busty, okay. And uh, it's got removable cups. What I love about them is that it's got removable cups. If you turn it around, there's a little space somewhere here where you can, you know, take out um, uh, the the cup that's on the inside if it's uncomfortable. And then I picked that up in navy as well. So it's the same thing. Dark colors. Um, I feel most comfortable in dark colors. And then of course I'm constantly wearing sneakers. Even over the weekend I'm wearing sneakers, all stars, whatever. So I just added th these were um, three for a hundred rand. So I just pretty much added extra pairs of socks. And then also, that's, is that it from Cotton? No, no, no. These I also picked up from Cotton On. These are tote bags. I am not a minimalist by any stretch of the imagination. I don't intend on being a minimalist. But I absolutely love that bag. I think that bag is so, 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 so nice. For just loungy days where I'm chilling. Oh, alarms and things and blah, blah, blah. Uh, for just loungy days where I'm chilling, going to the mall, basic days, you know, going blah, 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 that kind of thing. And then I picked up this really cute tote bag um, in this uh, baby pink sort of uh, color. I thought it was so cute. It comes in black as well. And I'm thinking of picking up the black one probably tomorrow or the day after. But yeah. That's and then here, this shop here, 
we all know what this shop is here um picked up staples basically the staples uh picked up gold deposit highlighter i do not have the gold deposit highlighter never had it actually i used to use amber lights as a um highlight because it is very very similar to uh gold deposit that's what it looks like absolutely stunning it's really really nice so i thought oh white sheets girl white sheets careful so i thought it would be nice to just you know pick it up spoil myself because <laughs> and then the huge which i go through i go through this very very quickly because i use it every single day i don't use any other uh fixing sprays at all ever uh and then this was basically a repurchase this is one of my favorite everyday lipsticks this is uh max touch lipstick really really nice everyday brown it's such it's such a pretty color let me see can you guys see that such a pretty color and if i'm not mistaken it's a satin finish my nails look crusty so don't judge me it is a luster it's a luster finish which means it's very very um just light on the skin it's not as opaque and then lastly i'm not even gonna take out everything from here I popped into the body shop to pick up these i had run out of these and you guys know how much i absolutely love these so i picked these up again um yeah because i'm going away soon as i said wow my nails are crusty <laughs> because i'm going away soon as i said so i need to pick up one of those and that's pretty much it So you may be surprised what that is all about it's friday it's friday i just got home i'm actually in the process of i just need to take the sweater off because it is so hot the weather has just become ridiculous lately it's nice and warm it's very very strange for this time of the year because at this time we still get pretty chilly mornings then it gets really warm throughout the day and then we get chilly evenings uh and a lot of wind especially in johannesburg uh august is quite a windy month so i'm very very surprised at the fact that okay what's going on <laughs> but we're almost at the end of august um uh, it's september next week so anyway um i was actually looking at my couch yesterday and i thought it's time to switch things up it's time to welcome spring into this home and the best way to welcome any season or the change of seasons into a home is to you know you can't be buying different furniture every single day to accommodate the seasons we're not going to do that but what you can do is change up the little things like the cushions on the couch uh some decor you know just pop into mr bright you know how i roll you know how i roll so picked up a couple of things some things are new some things are not just going to replace some things and we're going to do that I think this is so much more prettier for springtime as you can see the color of my couch is a very light beige it's almost like a gray brownie it's quite light i got this couch from um cory craft years ago like literally maybe like three years ago it's still held up so so well i absolutely love it um and these babies i mean look at her she's so beautiful these babies i picked up from mr price and i think one was like 120 or something like that um and one of these was like 100 rand so picked those up 
feel like they bring a lot of color into the room and of course throw a pop of color with a throw there uh, which I'll probably never really use that's why I've got throws that I actually really do use but for now I actually think that is absolutely stunning yes